Hey guys, it's Stefan McMillan. And Justin, who is so tired of Stefan Watson. And you're listening to episode 9 of Exposure, a half hour sit down with some of All Mind's newest and exciting content creators. And today we have Fred Tresco and Mass Gaming 98 for you. And let's start the show. Hey guys, welcome back to Exposure. Can you believe we're on episode 9 already? I know, I can't believe I stuck in there this long with you. Oh, okay. Well, it's pretty insane. (laughs) But for me, I'm glad to still be here and getting to know all of these content creators. For me, that's my favorite part of this show. Um, And of course, your support. And speaking of that, we didn't mention it last episode, but we're now extending the show to two times a week so you'll get a new episode as you usually would wednesday and now another one on friday but tonight we'll be talking with francesco and mass gaming our guests this will be a cool interview because they'll be joining us all the way from italy and croatia so that should be interesting but first we're back with our segments how to get away with youtube the word of the week and another new segment i'll be introducing later and guys we're going to start off with how to get away excuse me (laughs) (laughs) listen i do a whole thing like i'm literally like i move my head from left to right so i was literally on my way back (laughs) all right oh my gosh how to get Away with YouTube. And today we're going to talk about collaborations. Now, of course, you know with this show, we do a lot of collaborating with different YouTubers. This can be a difficult task, all right? It's not really hard getting people to sign up. This is something like organizing, too. Um, I've done, what organi- like Organizing is like the activism part, but it's the work. Like, coming to the protest is not the work. Getting people to come to the protest is the work, okay? Um, People will be like, oh, yeah, I want to do it. Yeah, well, I'll do that. And you're like, okay, cool. And then you add them on Skype. Cool. And then you're like, hey, what what, what date? And they're like, they don't answer, but they're clearly online. There was literally a person online, literally. You know, on Skype, you can put the little sub thing. It said bored. And he took forever to answer. And I'm like, hello. I didn't hunt you down. You know, if this was Miles J or if this was PewDiePie and he want to take his sweet time, all right, just make sure you come on. But if you had five subscribers, you need to be, you know, you should be something. Not that we're amazing, but you should be someone cares. I mean, and if somebody doesn't respond, let's say someone doesn't get to you fast enough. Doesn't mean it's a deal breaker either. It's not like we're ignoring you in person. Like I can understand if I'm right next to you and you're not answering me, hey, you better answer me. But if I'm halfway across the co- halfway across the country or halfway across the world and you don't know what's going on in my life, the only thing you know is that I live in a good neighborhood in Manhattan. Allegedly. You know, um, like, allegedly. Allegedly. I've heard one too many police sirens for that to be true, but um, I live five blocks from two hospitals, a fire station, and a police station. So you don't know what you heard. Anywho, that's all I'm saying, people. Be patient, all right. We'll be right back in the interview with Francesco and Mass Gaming, all the way from Italy and Croatia. See you soon. After these messages, we'll be right back. So everybody loves online shopping, and everyone pretty much loves Amazon. I know I do. It's so convenient and easy to use. Well, now you can do your regular shopping and support exposure by using our affiliate link. That's j.mp forward slash slowlist. Use our link and just shop as you usually would. 
It's free, easy, and you'll be helping out the show. That's j.mp forward slash slow list. That's S-L-W-L-I-S-T. Hi ho folks, this is Turwinkle of the Adventures of Turwinkle, the gnome mage at youtube.com slash palmerbomber1 and you're listening to Exposure. We're back with our guests, Francesco and Mass. Thanks for coming, you guys. Woo! Thank you for uh, thank you for inviting me. Yeah, same here. So we always ask our guests this um, as a first question. Francesco, what inspired you to get started on YouTube? Um, th- that's a big question because I started YouTube a long time ago, mostly uploading uh, uh, random stuff. Now the actual you know creating a format and all that and all that stuff Mm -hmm. started about two years ago and uh, maybe maybe since the beginning it was my desire to review games and share my thoughts on video games much like uh, what i'm doing right now with my channel and mass for me it's just i wanted to uh, so i always play video games and uh, i wanted to record them and like share them with my friends so youtube was the like obvious choice because everything else had a shitty connection to stream to them or anything like that so i just recorded a video game and oh this was an awesome moment check it out and i saw that other people actually i knew that from a long time but i saw a lot of people can make that make that their primary primary job or you can call it something like that so if you can if you have a choice if you have a opportunity to do you're doing life something you enjoy, and that is playing video games and sharing it with others. And having a great community, I am like no-brainers. What do they say? Pick a job you like, and you will never have to work a single day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, where did you come up with that name, Mass98? <laughs> so, yeah, basically, the thing that I said before is that uh, I recorded games, but mostly with my friends I played Ma- Mass Effect, the game called Mass Effect. And uh, 98, because in the game, there's a rifle, that a sniper rifle, magnetically, kinetically, I don't know what the, what was the technology, but when you shoot something, it will go through a wall, through a couple of enemies, and then through a wall again. And that's like the most powerful rifle in the game, obviously. And it's called M98. And I wanted that to be my name, like the most powerful rifle, but as I couldn't just name it M98, I decided that M to go for mass, like mass effect, and then 98 for the model of the rifle. So bam, there it is, the name. <laughs> uh, well, there's a long story behind my actual channel, Video Games Perspectives. Uh, before that, I had another uh, channel, uh, Conso Miller 727, which is also my nickname, uh, Conso 1727. That uh, it was uh, uh, the short version of my surname, so how my friends call me, plus my hour of birth, so 17 and 27. So uh, I made um, a good uh, amount of videos with that, also a couple in collaboration with a Facebook page. Though uh, I felt like making stuff in both Italian and English uh, was, uh, I don't know, the fact that the video made with the Facebook page uh, bring, brought a lot of uh, subscribers, but they were mostly there for that reason. And I wanted to really earn my subscribers, so get maybe less of them, but very active. So together with the fact, uh, as I was saying, that I made stuff in both languages, I felt the need for a reboot. So I started up these video games perspectives that, at first, it, had, it went through, once again, different names. At first, I wanted to call it The Console Show, because through that period, I started watching a bit of The Angry Joe Show. But then I decided to just um, ch- call it Video Games Perspectives, because I wanted to tell that it is nothing but an opinionated point of view, so a just a perspective on the video game industry. So, Francesco, what do, does your family know about? I know you said your friends know, of course, but do your does your family know? Do they care about your channel? Uh, yes, yes, they know. I make stuff on YouTube, and uh, I don't think they mind too much. I mean, they f- just find it uh, as a hobby. And uh, also, I also my one of my teachers know that uh, 
I may I have a YouTube channel because of my classmates. Uh, what we were talking about uh, YouTube uh, in class, and uh, my this teacher heard about it, and uh, he showed uh, an interest in it. Mostly because you know, to produce a, U- a YouTube video in any case, at least uh, the kind of video you do, you need to play the game, uh, learn about it, write a script, record all the stuff, uh, and of course uh, the post production, etc. Which, if we look at it and under a certain light. It, is, it also is something to add on your curriculum vitae, you know, you have knowledge of editing programs, of script writing, of script reading, all that stuff. So, Francesco, you're from Italy, correct? Correct. So, do you find it difficult to find other YouTubers to collaborate with? Do you, is that something you're interested in, in doing? Yes, I'd, I'd love to collaborate with somebody that makes reviews but i think the biggest issue uh, at least with my channel is not the language barrier as you can see i'm going quite smoothly here the mm-hmm. biggest issue i have is that maybe my channel has uh, not uh, too many subscribers about 30 34 yes uh, they updated just recently so you know since world is world when somebody wants to collaborate with somebody else, he always wants to earn something that maybe my channel has nothing to offer for potential collaborators. Mm-hmm. Well, in general, like, are there other YouTubers? Like, are there a lot of other YouTubers in Italy? Yes, there are, but uh, Italy is, has always been a faulty country on the topic of English. So mm-hmm. they mostly focus on just Itali- Italian content. So uh, there is this uh, language block that... Uh, now, the med- there are some other people that uh, make uh, stuff in English, of course, but they mostly do stuff not in my field, in my specific field. So mm-hmm. I'm not very likely to collaborate with them. I prefer stuff that people that do my same stuff. Yeah, I'm from Croatia, and uh, here is the complete opposite. So in Croatia, a lot of people know English, but uh, YouTubers in Croatia, I know one guy who's doing vlog videos in the capital city, and that's it. And actually, I found out another guy that's doing English videos, but he's not very keen to collaboration as he blocked me as soon as I sent him a message. And um, <laughs> so, yeah, there. And he lives like a couple of blocks away from me, so I don't know. That guy is very weird, uh, I guess. I mean, at least say, no, I'm not interested, not just straight up block. But okay. Uh, <laughs> my family about my family. What you guys ask, Francesco? Yeah, they know about my videos. Uh, they don't. They don't really give a, 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 a yeah, yeah, a damn. Yeah, they don't really give a damn about uh, what I'm, I'm I'm doing as long as I'm uh, regular in school and I do like the stuff they ask, which uh, is most of the time pain in the ass because you imagine this: you're in the middle, you set up your you you set up everything. You like fire up the webcam and everything, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> my dad comes flying in. Ah, I need you to help me on this. Like, I'm in the middle of something here. <laughs> like, what? Stop playing on your PC. Go and help me. Okay. <laughs> and then you like end up with like three hour recordings, or which of which are like only one hour of gameplay. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I've been through the um the people like blocking or deleting you, and it's just why. Can- like I don't mind if you just say no, that's fine. Um, so I'm not a gamer. Justin is more of uh has more knowledge on gaming, I guess. But I'm curious, what games do you guys mostly focus on with your channels, Francesco? No, I don't. My mine uh, does uh, a bit of everything. My mine is not a let's play channel, despite the fact that. I'm planning to do some playthroughs, but they are mostly, you know, strategy stuff or a way to beat the game in a specific manner. Um, I, I was recording footage of a uh, rooster run on Outland Miami. Now, I'm not going too much into the details, but it's a, a, co- a common self-imposed challenge uh, in this game. And uh, I do, as, as I was saying, uh, I do a lot, a bit of everything. Uh, the last thing I reviewed is a uh, Quake 3 modification from 2001. I mean, the first version came out in 2001. And uh, my next episode is an Half-Life 2 mod. Then I reviewed, uh, as I said, Otlan Miami, a Lego uh, game of the early 2000s uh, that I used to play as a child. So I try to go um, a bit uh, on all the various uh, kind of games. Yeah, my channel 
it's uh, again opposite of Francesco's. I am a Let's Play channel, so I just pick up a random game that I have in mind, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't have a script, don't have anything, just fire up and it's straight genuine reaction of mine. <laughs> For example, I go and fire up a Far Cry 4 video and I don't know what I'm going to do, I just like walk and something random happens and I make a fuss about it and everybody's laughing and I'm laughing at <laughs> Yes, I, I, and I like this natural humor that you have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they say that the best, uh, best way to plan is not to... <laughs> but that's also true. Uh, how much time would you say you spend playing games for your channel versus, I guess, in your free time just for fun? Well, I I don't really play any games in free time. Everything that I play, I record, and I meant to make a montage out of it. Best moments, you can call them. So, hmm. yeah, every time I play something, I, I record it. and Because you never know when something fun is going to come out. Well, for me, well, I usually play the games. I often play the games for fun. I mean, some of the games I reviewed, I stumble upon them just because I wanted to have fun. Then the effect... The, of making reviews is that you don't need to record too much specific footage because you can play the games then all all, the, all the, your experiences get on the back of your mind so when you're writing the script they come up they come over and uh, you write them down so maybe there are some situations yes that are harder to replicate but they are mostly are irrelevant to the review itself there's um Seems like there's a lot of YouTubers that are still trying to strive to get on television and get away from YouTube. Like, I guess Shane Dawson, he's been working on a TV show for the past decade, so. Do you guys feel like, um, I mean, I've, I checked out your channels, they seem pretty, I guess, clean. Do you guys feel like YouTube should be more family-friendly, Francesco? Mm, well, I think that uh, there's plenty of content on YouTube, probably just uh, adding uh, the possibility of, for content creators to actually uh, label the products, I think that I think it is already available, but not to everyone. You know, uh, PG, T, and uh, all that kind of stuff. So apply, let the content creators apply this filter and uh, give uh, the possibility for users, so for parents mostly, to use these filters. So of course uh, they set up before, so children when go on YouTube, they only see the content that uh, is uh, uh, can can be watched by people that, by children of their age. Um, uh, yeah. Family-friendly, you you probably think about what Francesco said about the PG limitations and that, right? So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's the, what he said, it's okay, I guess, but, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, in the, if, if we go by that logic, I'm 17, so I wouldn't be able to see any of the 18 rated, mature rated games, and my channel consists 90% of those games. In fact, uh, this this thing is not uh, going on. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, Mass, what makes your channel, because you're a gamer and there are tons of gamers, what makes your channel stand out? Well, does it stand out? <laughs> uh, uh. What I want of my channel is basically just make a family of people that want to get uh, interacting with each other. So my channel is not just pointing out games and giving them to random people. My It's more about just... Uh, I don't know really how to explain Maybe uh, gather people together and enjoy video games together. Yeah, exactly. Gather people together, enjoy videos together. I make a video and down in the comments people interact with each other. That would be a perfect community for me. I'm just cre trying to create that. I mean, my channel, in, in what you asked, that doesn't really <laughs> answer your question, but my uh, channel doesn't stand out. I don't think it stands out uh, much, but from what I saw, I saw people recording and not giving really a. not, not really getting it into it, and I tend to make. do the bigger, big, biggest effort I can do and uh, just, uh, you know. I I take time to make videos and take time to do everything and uh, I see people just throwing it around like it's stupid and just wanting for the money. Uh, my final objective in the end uh, is to uh, share my thoughts uh, on these video games and hopefully also get other people that have their thoughts and share, their, share theirs uh, with mine. So 
you know, all about uh, sharing uh, our thoughts on video games and uh, also reviewing games together and all that kind of stuff. My final objective is uh, that one. If you could have one YouTuber's login information for 24 hours, you can do whatever you want, post whatever you want, delete their channel, I guess, if you want to. Whose login would you want? Um, I have an answer, but uh, I'd rather keep it for myself, at least the name of the channel. <laughs> Not even a hint? And yes, and, and yes, I'd shut it down with no survivors. Um, Mass, same question. Uh, me, I, I'm, I'm not a hateful person or anything, <laughs> so I don't. Well, you can do something nice. Oh wait, then, then uh, I, I probably uh, have him subscribe to me, so maybe it will, it would gather some, some people to my channel. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the ways to do it. But yeah, I would. Uh... I would not really want to uh, get uh, like a un uh, unlegit access to anybody's uh, account. I mean, uh, if possible, I would like to make friends with some of the bigger guys, so that way we can do collabs, and that way I can bring the how the how the see to my uh, I can bring traffic to my channel. But really, the login details and everything, I I I can honestly say I would not like to have anybody because. Everybody knows what's best for their channels, so I don't need to intervene there and do what I think would be good. And I don't frankly hate anybody. I mean, I saw some people doing some stupid stuff. For example, that guy, uh, How to Do Basic. Uh, that's just disgusting me because he's uh, he's uh, throwing food and everything that can be fed to so much people or some. That's just disgusting me what he does, but still. Uh, I've heard around that uh, he's using rotten eggs, though I don't, I can't confirm my sources. Yeah, that's just I don't, I don't believe that. Even rotten eggs. I mean, why do you let so many eggs get rotten? Uh, then? <laughs> and but still, uh, I that's disgusting with what that guy's does doing. And uh, that's mm, it. Yeah. <laughs> so if I got maybe in the worst case scenario, I would shut his channel down. But still, I I think that he knows what's best for him, and if he wants to do those kind of gross videos. And there are people who like those style stuff. I don't really give a damn. And thank you guys so much for coming. You're welcome. Thank you for inviting. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming, Mass and Francesco. We'll be right back with our word of the week. And we're back with the word of the week. And today we have a word for you. Okay, it's more of a phrase, but we're going to consider it a word, all right? And it's get these hands. Now, I know. I know. People are like, what does that mean? Now, this is really kind of New York slang, I would oh, think. Is it? Yeah, kind of. It's kind of, sort of from, like, where you live. So, get these hands. <laughs> get these hands. Literally means if you're in an argument with someone, okay, and instead of saying, oh, I'm going to punch you in the face, you would say something like, you about to get these hands. Now, hands, this is the problem with slang using real words instead of making up new words. Stop that, people. Use new words. Make up stuff, all right? There's plenty of letters. There's plenty of combinations. But... Hands, it just is usually when someone, when you say someone has hands, that means they have fighting skill, they have fighting ability. They may not be Holyfield or what's whatever that black one that just won. May, Mayweather. What's with these last names? Holyfield, Mayweather, and then Tyson. Watson. Wait, who? Watson. Who? Although we were talking about funny last names, but okay. Now, my last name is amazing, Stephen. But anyway, so that's what that means. And I don't recommend using it because that means you're about to get ready to fight somebody. But if if you feel about that life, hey. Well, if you hear it and you never heard it before, now you know what it means. Um, Duck. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and that was our word of the week.
Hey guys, it's Stefan. Hope you're enjoying the episode so far. Justin and I are now making it easier than ever to get your exposure fix. Along with YouTube and iTunes, you guys can now check us out on TuneIn, Cast Roller, and Double Twist. Just search Exposure with Stefan McMillan and Justin Watson. And now, back to the show. Well, guys, we reached the end of our show. Thank you so much for listening. If you could be so nice. I mean, nicer than Solange was to Jay-Z in that elevator. Can you go to iTunes, not only subscribe, but leave us a rating of five stars. And if you couldn't write a nice little comment, that would help us out a lot. If you want to get more content from us, you can either go to our blog, exposurepodcast.blogspot.com, or we have more than one option now. You can go to youtube.com slash slowest in your face. That's I-N-Y-A face. To keep up to date with us, you can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash exposure show. And you can like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash exposure pod. That's exposure P-O-D. Thank you so much for our guest, Mass Game Mass Gaming ninety eight, and Francesco Video Game Perspectives. Yes, all the way from Italy and Croatia, from for coming on the show tonight, and we will see you guys on the next episode of Exposure.